This is Dabu7. Most people are aware that the San Andreas fault line is overdue and is said to be able to produce a rather large earthquake, one that many people in California should prepare for, especially if they live along this fault line. But I want to show you a few things here in terms of the geology and what they're expecting now. There's a new study they put out, and this connects to the Salton Sea. And this is interesting because the Salton Sea is where we have seen many swarms, many odd swarms. This is also where the fault ends and starts to break apart or forks into different areas. And they're saying that if a large enough quake starts in this area, it will rip and race right up the fault line. And depending on how far it goes, well, that depends on the magnitude of the quake that it's going to produce. They're saying the further it goes, the greater the magnitude. And what they're saying is by looking at past quakes and then looking at what they expect here in the future, they're saying that if one was to pop off here in the Salton Sea, if it starts here and starts to head this way, this is what they're saying will happen toward Los Angeles, this whole basin. They're stating if it reaches this region right here, it would be around a 7.3 earthquake. If it stayed there now if it continued and it got to Cajun Pass they're saying if it hit this area you're talking about a, a 7.6 to 7.7 .7 seismic event as they're saying this energy will be released from this area and just will just rip right up this fault line 7.8 if it was to reach Lake Hughes not stopping They're talking an 8.2, getting this far. Paso Robles, the 101, start of the earthquake here, ripping all the way up into this region. And one of these scientists are saying that they believe the next big one will indeed go all the way up into this region. They're saying that 8.2 is probably as big as they're going to get in this region. So in terms of any good news out of that, um, they're not saying a nine or anything like that could be generated in this region, but it's long overdue. They're saying it's been 140 years. It's been 160 years since the last major earthquake on that section of the fault. But there's just been a massive one. But I wanted to put this out there and just kind of put things into perspective of where they think this would start, what direction it would head, and just how far the vibrations are going to travel. And then that increases the magnitude the further it goes, they're saying. So it's all about that, that stopping point in terms of this fault line and one popping off from down here in the Salton Sea. But I will leave a link here with more information. And as always, if you're someone that lives in earthquake-prone territory, have a plan for that. This has been Dabu7. Peace.